All right, guys, today we're going to talk about wonderful, beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. So I went to Vegas for my 52nd birthday, and I had a unique experience with the airport, and I wanted to share um, my experience with the airport, show y'all a little bit of Vegas right here, so you understand that it is worth the trip. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the Harry Reid airport yes the airport so i showed up at the harry reed international airport at two in the morning so they don't open till two in the morning as you could tell it is empty almost very empty then this happened <laughs> We made it through that, and I'm on my way to my gate, gate C4. So I came across this with some delicious velvet cupcakes, and I'm so tempted, but it's early in the morning, so I'm just going to look at them. I'm not going to get one, okay? Then we have this for the little puppies, and you know, there's a lot of dogs in the airport, more than huh, you think. So, what's amazing about the Harry Reid International Airport is the slot machines. I mean, Vegas is going to get your money coming and going. I'm not a, a big gambler, but even I couldn't fight the temptation of these slot machines at the airport. So, while I was waiting for my flight to Dallas, I played a little slot machine now i only had like six dollars left because you know vegas took all my money and after my breakfast my breakfast was like twelve dollars but you know i was expecting that because you know it's airport but so i played six dollars and i won 16 and your girl knows when to stop so i cashed out before my plane came i watched this one guy sit there and win eight hundred dollars this is one of their little shops that's in the airport and I love it because everything is bedazzled and blinging. So this is what's in this little store. Yeah. Have some really cool items and the cheapest thing I saw was like $30, but they can range to some really expensive prices. And this was a dispensary for Kylie's uh, lip line. So here's a quick look at some of the prices. Oh, my plane was a little late, but here's the takeoff from the Harry Reid International Airport. We're going to fly over Vegas. And I was sitting on the left side of the plane, and I didn't get a view of the strip. So usually I'm on the right side, and I usually get some good footage of the strip. But you can see um, Vegas, and you can see some of the houses. And I got to tell you how much I love Southwest. I freaking love Southwest. It really doesn't take a lot of money as you think to go to Vegas. It really doesn't. Southwest is the one to go with. I might drop my Southwest link down below for my Southwest credit card. And you guys go ahead, click that link and apply for you a Southwest credit card. It is one of my favorite credit cards. You always need something just in case um there's an emergency and you need to buy buy a plane ticket or if you just want to go spend your birthday in vegas like i did and i will be sharing some more videos of how to save money on your trip to vegas it's very doable they have a lot of things that are actually free that you can do in las vegas so guy guys enjoy this flight over las vegas and flying off at the Harry Reid International Airport. And that's my experience. I consider this airport to be one of the smallest airports I've been to. Like, I just would have expected a bigger airport for busy, busy Las Vegas. Like, it's St. Louis, Atlanta, and Dallas. Those are really huge airports to me, but um, they're building on to the airport. So, um, 
that should make it bigger and better. Another thing I like about Southwest is that if you find a flight cheaper than the one that you book, you can actually call them and get a credit on your account. So I had a $30 credit on my account because I found a cheaper ticket for that same day. So they gave me the difference. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Passion Alisa on YouTube.